It's a hot ticket, and this year's Wimbledon welcomes some of the stars from the world of football. As Manchester United's Spanish contingent came along to meet Swiss maestro Roger Federer. We're spoiled. I mean, it's big, big, huh? Yeah. A lot of big crowds, big courts, big organizations. So it's not less personal, but it's it's different, you know. Whereas smaller tournaments, uh, I don't know if you've been to other ones, you know. I've been in the Masters. In okay, well that's big, bigger too, but you know, only eight players. Here it's like 400, so it's a, a different a different feel. But uh, yeah, very historic. Yeah, like a lot has happened here. David De Gea, Juan Mata and Ander Herrera had the chance to talk both tennis and football with the seven-time Wimbledon winner, who's a big FC Basel fan. So, well, we had a good season. We have done unbelievably well, actually, for Champions League. They always League. play good yeah. football, Basel, eh? Yeah, they yeah. Have good it's been players. unbelievable, really. And very young players. Yeah, so, but now it's a big change again. Yeah? Yeah, one guy retired, Streller. I don't know if you remember oh, yeah, the tall guy yeah. from the attack. Uh, he retired striker, now. Yeah. yeah, striker, and then... Two others left to Germany. Um, they are always they are selling players. Well, we have to. We can't yeah, keep yeah, them, yeah. you know. But so it's important to make good transfers. So. <laughs> okay, all the best. Nice, nice to meet you too. Have a good season, Thank guys. You. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Bye, see you soon. Enjoy the tennis. The visit also enabled Manchester United fan and this year's Wimbledon doubles finalist Jamie Murray to do his own thing and interview one of the Spanish aces. Guys, uh, this is Man United and Spanish star uh, Juan Mata. He's been here visiting Wimbledon, watching Andy play on centre court today. Uh, I think he was very excited about that. I'm going to ask him a little bit more about it. Uh, Juan, how was it today? Uh, it, it's been amazing. Uh, it's my first visit to Wimbledon, and uh, I always wanted to come. I never could because we are now in pre season, so sometimes we were not in England or we were abroad. But today was uh, unbelievable. Um, the atmosphere, the feeling in here is, uh, I think, is something special. Yeah, it's got a good, uh, it's got good energy about it. Yeah, it's quite, quite unique. Yeah, centre court. You enjoyed it? It was very nice. Uh, we saw Andy winning. He played very well. Uh, the weather was okay. It started <laughs> raining a little bit. It's Wimbledon it after all. Yeah, <laughs> it's better than Manchester. I can promise you that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, a little bit better and warmer. Did you have some strawberries and cream? Yeah, we tried everything. <laughs> we had to, no? Yeah, you got to yeah, milk the experience. We yeah. got some uh, cakes, uh, some lunch, and then creams and strawberries with cream. And proper traditions. Exactly. We yeah. had to do it, and we English did it. Way, yeah. We did it the English way. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And you guys are going off to America soon. We are going to be there for two weeks playing the International Cup that we played last season and I think it's good to be there. Uh, you go there as well, we met yeah. there last, yeah. last summer and I think it's, uh, it's fun to be there and to get ready for the long season, hopefully. All right, well, good luck, I hope it goes well and then Thank you. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Wimbledon experience. Thank you, pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the last grass court tournament of the season takes us to Newport, Rhode Island. And the not-so-normal service. John Isner talks us through what makes the perfect serve. Don't forget to log on to the all-new atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. And talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.